Hey guys, so I'm going for the cloud effect on a 20 by 16 inch canvas. I know you guys want me to go bigger, but I tried on a 20 by 24 four times and washed off three, kept one that wasn't good enough for me. So here I am going a tad smaller, hoping it works. I have my white, which is half of the DecoArt Satin Enamels and the Artist Loft with some Liquitex Pouring Medium. I have a cup of Artist Loft on its own that I'm going to be pouring on first. And I have these three colors here, orange, blue, I have some Alizarin Crimson that I added some metallic red into. So everything has been mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium and water. Here I go.
All right, you guys, so this is maybe 15 minutes later. Now, I have a lot to say. First off, the artist loft that I poured on first was not necessary. But in my defense, I did not know that I was going to re-pour on top of my first pour. And I did that because I found my result too bland and I didn't like it. I needed it, I needed it to pop more. So is it necessary to pour twice like I did? Absolutely not. I always like to have a lot of paint prepared in case something like this happens. And my paints were pretty thin. They were a tad too thin maybe for the tree ring pour, which is why it starts off muddy and then the center turns out beautiful. My God, look at that. And it's also a reason why all those cells appeared. It's because the paint was thinner. There's the cloud effect from the white, clearly. But I'm like 99% positive that all those cells appeared because of the consistency of the paints. They were too thin. But I mean, I won't complain. I'm just so used to pit, preparing my paints thin that I don't know, I do it automatically. I need to be stronger and put less water. But why am I complaining? Look at this. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Dude. This painting is gorgeous. It looks like this sky. It looks like heaven. It looks like the universe in a perfect world. Stay tuned for the dried result. Pray. I'm going to pray that this dries well. So I'm back with the dried result and I'm really happy because it dried really well. It didn't crack because of the dryness happening at the moment. Like I explained in my last video, there is a tad of unwanted texture there, right there where I'm filming, but I'm going to take it. And I'm happy to see that some of the orange and the red came out there through the cells during the drying process. I pretty much lost all my other colors except for the blue. I'm really, really happy. Yay. So while I'm here, I have this painting right on top that I haven't posted, that I haven't really showed anyone because I'm not sure about it. I'm having mixed feelings about this painting. And I added it to my website last night. Anywho, let me know what you think. If you like that one on top, it's 36 by 12. It's very different. And then there's this one here. Cloud effect. Have a good one.